The MIDI Through Gizmo is an open source MIDI splitter designed to solve the frustrations of the various TRS MIDI implementations. The design files are freely available for you to remix, create your own, or understand how the circuit works. Let's put it together. In the box, you'll find the MIDI Through Gizmo PCB, two acrylic plates, as well as a small bag containing a hex wrench, some screws, and a standoff. Take your acrylic, go ahead and peel the paper backing off and give it a rinse in some water to get rid of any residue from the laser cutting process. With the acrylic unwrapped, now we can go ahead and put it together. First, take the PCB and align it with the bottom plate. You'll then take the longer screws and put them in through the rear of the plate, like so, and secure that in with a hex standoff. Just finger tight's fine. So go ahead and do that for the remaining three. Now take the hex wrench and tighten those up a little bit. While you're doing this, it's important to try as much as you can to avoid putting your fingers and touching the components on the board itself. Next, take the top plate, fit it over like so, and put the shorter screws through the top plate. Here you can directly tighten them with the hex wrench. And that's all there is to it. Your MIDI through gizmo is now assembled and ready to go. You can power it using either a DC 2.1mm barrel jack or a USB-C connector. Note that the USB connector does not pass any MIDI data, it's for power only. There's a small LED on the PCB, just there, designed to indicate whenever there is incoming MIDI data. There are two arrows here, an input and a through. These are both TRS type A, they cannot be changed. To demonstrate, I'll take a bridge 4, connect a 3.5mm cable to the MIDI output going into the type A input on the gizmo. Whenever I send MIDI data, the LED will blink. The MIDI through allows you to chain multiple devices together and it simply passes the type A MIDI data directly through. So you can pass it to another gizmo or any other MIDI device. Outputs one to eight have a configurable mode set by the position of the dip switches. They're intentionally recessed into the acrylic so they don't accidentally get changed. And you can see a key here. For tip only, for ring only, for type A, and type B. By default, I've got them set to type A. So I can connect up to eight TRS connectors into the 3.5 millimeter jacks. Now each one of those is connected as a type A output. But of course we could change that by setting the corresponding dip switch to the correct position, such as seven is now a type B output. It's important that you don't set them to any other mode other than here, as you can potentially short the power on your device. And while it is designed to protect against this, it's generally not a good idea. The exception to this is that you can use both the tip and the ring together while splitting the MIDI signal. This is useful if you want to daisy chain uh, two devices off the single output, but it is generally not recommended as it can cause ground loop issues. And there you have it, your TRS MIDI through Gizmo, assembled, ready to rock.